Constructive criticism, welcome. Three words that are sabotaging any sort of growth in photography when you are asking strangers to give you feedback on your images. How's it, how's it? That idea that, you know, you can put a picture out there and whatever your, your preferred method of sharing, even if it's a camera club and just saying, you know, constructive criticism, welcome or feedback, okay. You, you know, the sort of thing, we've also seen it. And, and expecting something to come back at you that's useful, that's gonna help you drive your photography forward. Just, it, it, why, <laughs> it is, it is, I, I appreciate why people do it, but there is a far better way to ask for feedback, criticism, critique, whatever you wanna call it, that is going to be much more beneficial for you in the long run. And when you learn the skill of asking for, for feedback on your images, then it puts you in a better position to pass on feedback to other people because you have a better idea of what is helpful and really kind of what's just noise. So let's begin with defining, you know, what is feedback? What is, what is helpful criticism? As you know, constructive criticism, welcome. For me, it's something that if somebody were to say something about one of my photographs, and I'm gonna use some of my old images here as, as a sample because, you know, why not, right? So there's a photograph, it's Table Mountain. It's a fairly famous scene, you know, people seen it all over the times. And if I were to show that to somebody and just say, what do you think? Constructive criticism, welcome. I would probably get a whole bunch of stuff that would come back at me. Oh, that sky's really dark. What are you photographing here? It's all just a bit wonky. Your contrast, your processing's not kind of cool. These by themselves are not really helpful. What would be helpful is if somebody came along and said, I, I see where you're going at. You're trying to photograph Table Mountain, an iconic seen in a different way, but I think you've kind of missed the point here that including just a little bit of foreground interest isn't kind of really doing it, sort of things like that. So that is a little bit more constructive. But to get that sort of constructive criticism, that feedback, you need to be lucky enough to bump into somebody who is well-versed in, in passing on feedback to you. So when we understand what feedback is, then it puts us in a better position to, you know, pass it forward, to, to use that phrase. So you know, helpful feedback is something that addresses a single concern for the photographer in question, so that'd be me, and, you know, would then suggest a way that they could, you know, approach it from a different angle, recognizing what they're trying to achieve and, you know, giving a feedback that isn't, well, you know, you should have done it this way, you should have done it that. It's more putting an idea in the photographer's mind that resonates with them. Because, ah, yes, okay, I see, I see the point you're trying to make there. For you, feedback is gonna sound different. Everybody is unique within photography. This is part of, I think, the, the great problem with asking for general feedback, is that everybody has their own approaches. When I run cohorts, you know, I make a point of, of trying to, you know, give a broad spectrum for, you know, for the, for the people who are joining in, but also taking the time to speak to the people in the cohort one-on-one, -on -one, you know, about their specific photography, because somebody may be into landscape photography, somebody may be into street photography or abstract photography. All of these need different approaches. There are various skill levels. All of these need different approaches. So let's look at, you know, what we can do right away to make sure that we're actually, you know, asking for the right sort of feedback. Here are three views of an air vent that I photographed in Frankfurt. This must be oh, early 2000s. What I was trying to do here is lean into those patterns and the shapes of you know, what, what I'm sort of seeing. It's a very interesting piece. And I would say, if I'm looking for critique and feedback on it now, I'd go to this one, vent number two, and I would say, okay, well, I've got this idea where I'm trying to make a, an abstract feeling to this. Do you, as the viewer, feel that this has 
lent into that abstractness. I wanted to get a bit of a flow, make a, a sort of organic feel to what is obviously an inorganic object, it's, it's metal, but it has a, a sort of a, a, a you know, a swoopingness. Am I communicating that clearly? Is this something that is resonating with you in a way that intrigues you? So there's a bit of feedback. Or, you know, I'm asking for specific feedback. I'm not saying, does it work better in color or black and white? Or do you think that little piece of, uh, there's another piece of fin there in the background. Do you think I should clone that out? Do you think I should tidy things up on it or something like that, right? I'm asking very specifically, is this achieving what I set out as a photographer to achieve? Whenever you ask for feedback on an image online, be clear about what it is that you want the feedback to be. Here's another very old picture. This was taken again when I was a student and we, you know, we used to go off and, and do assignments that I feel at the time I really liked. I thought, wow, yeah, I like the framing and all that sort of stuff. And if I were to ask again for feedback, I would probably say something like, okay, well, I've got Ursula in this frame here like that, but I'm trying to get a sense of isolation, a sense of moodiness, you know, a bit of a vibe going on there because it's a broken down building in the middle of the felt and Ursula's wearing this kind of, I don't know what it was. It's, it's, it's quite clearly not a, a going out in the bush <laughs> uh, dress. How would you, as the person's gonna give me feedback, say to me, okay, well, what could you do to give a bit more of a, of a drama? Maybe not photographing in what looks like kind of the middle of the day, wait until the evening. You know, take your photograph and make it less contrasty, things of that nature. It's very really tricky as you can see, because obviously I'm trying to, I'm, I'm you know, asking for criticism on my photograph and they try to give it back, back to me. But I hope this is getting the point across that if you are specific, not just like, do you like this picture? Constructive criticism, welcome, because you, you, know, you might come back with a million things that are drifting away from what um, was actually helpful. We used to take these photographs and you know, put them into assignments that we'd been set at photo school, and then we'd have a critique session, you know, put the image up on a wall and the lecturers would come around and they'd look at it and they'd sort of maybe point out a couple of things and say, you know, this focus is a bit wonky or, you know, your tonal range isn't quite right or, you know, this kind of sort of thing. And then open up the floor to this discussion. And I've always found whenever I'm, you know, I'm looking to improve my photography, that it's this community discussion that is, is kind of really where the, where the nuggets of, 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 of growth lie. In camera clubs, certain camera clubs, there are the people, you know, the, 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 the voices on high who will sit there and go, you must do this and you must do that and what have you. And often on an internet forum, there are people who say, you must do this, you must do that. It, it, I, when you get a good community of people together, it doesn't have to be a lot, you know, five, 10, 15 people, who are supportive of each other and understand the, 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 you know, the, the benefit of giving you know, feedback that isn't about what they would have done better, but about how the photographer can grow. That exchange of ideas, this back and forth, that goes beyond, oh, your horizon's a bit wonky or your framing sucks, is invaluable. That's why I make such a point of, of you know, trying to introduce this into you know, cohort discussions. Like I said, we have, uh, keep the community small, so not only kind of do the one-to-one -one stuff, but also everybody knows each other. That, that interaction between the photographers working on an assignment, you know, like a, like a you know, photograph of motion, for example, that helps them discover their own voices, their uniqueness as a photographer, but isn't also pigeonhole, you know, the, the, the images into, oh, you've got to do it this way, or you've got to do it that way. This, you know, I, I hate this idea with, you know, a lot of workshops or what have you, you know, they're kind of like, you know, we're going to photograph in this way, or we're going to teach you how to do stuff. And that's, you know, okay, that's fine. 
If you want to learn a certain technique, you know, light painting or something like that, then obviously, you know, that's going to be helpful. But so many, you know, workshops seem to be all about, you know, you press this button, you do that button. Whereas, yeah, I want, I want, I want photographers. This is kind of why I do this, you know. So at least we're planting ideas in your head, saying, "Look, you know, this is how we can try things out. This is how we can move forward. Take photographs that appeal to you, and find somebody who understands that. That understands that you know, giving criticism, feedback, you know, critique, whatever." isn't about trying to get that person to take photographs like, like me. I don't want you guys to take photographs like me. I want you to take photographs like yourselves. I wish I, could, I, wish, I wish this wasn't just like a bang, 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 you know, one way screen here that I could sit with you in my lounge. I don't know how much space we've got here. I could probably fit, fit about 10 people. I'll get, get a bit warm in here after a while, but at least yeah, we're going some small way to helping you understand what to ask for. That, you know, next time you put up an image that you want some feedback on, don't just say constructive criticism, welcome. Say, I photographed this ball in Frankfurt. Again, you can you see there's a theme going on today. And I, you know, I like the reflection of it but I feel that it's lacking something. It feels like it's just a little bit of a snap, shotty kind of, oh, look, it's very funny. I've taken a picture of a reflection. What could I do? You know, I think the, the framing is wrong on this. I think I haven't gone far enough. Can you make some suggestions about what I could do to, you know, really lean into that reflection, but also make it somewhat recognizable? but you know something a little bit more visually dynamic that's what we're, we're going to be doing here that's what I, I get into so deeply on the cohort and there are as of this video being recorded there are only three spaces left the cohort starts on the 10th of september there's no onboarding on the 6th it's six weeks of i i, I what is about to say intense stuff but it's not intense it's it's it is digging into your photography and, and pulling out the, the, you know, the nuggets of gold that are hiding there already, polishing them up, helping other people grow and helping other people grow as photographers. You grow as a photographer as well. It is fascinating to see the development, the confidence of the people who've been in previous cohorts. And I would love for you to, to join me here. Please, if you are interested, check out the link below. And to find out more about, you know, photo school and all the kind of things that you get up to there, and some of them good, some of them bad, check out this video over here. Thank you ever so much once again for watching, and I will see you again soon.